It's been over a year since I installed a new network in my home and I showed you all the process from A to Z on this channel. I actually have a link to the playlist where you can see all those videos. I showed you the cabling, security appliance, the Wi-Fi, security cameras, and even the switch as well. But today I'm coming with an update to my home network. Here I have some devices from Ubiquiti. Thank you Ubiquiti for sending me these devices. These are going to be new addition to my home network. I'm going to unbox them in front of you and we're going to see what I have here and how I'm going to use it in my home network. So at this moment for Unify Network, I use the UDM SE or the Unify Dream Machine SE. Behind it, I have the USW24 PoE and I have many USW Flex Mini throughout the house wherever I need to add some extra port. And I have three access points, the Unify 6 LR or the long range on the first floor. I have the Unify 6 Lite on the main floor or the living room. And I have the Unify 6 Lite and other Unify 6 Lite in the basement. For Unify Protect, I use my UDM SE as the NVR, as you know, it can do it. I have an eight terabyte hard drive on the UDM SE and I currently have 14 HD cameras looking at 14 different angles. Of course, they have to look at 14 different angles. It'd be not smart to have 14 cameras pointing at a single angle or 13 angles. But I'm going to come back with more details and I'm going to do like a review video or many videos talking about my experience with Unify Network and Unify Protect. And Ubiquiti is making beautiful devices for businesses or even home networks. You get a very good service and you don't have any licensing involved. If I want to do the same thing in my home network with Cisco devices, for example, it could have been very expensive for the licensing every year or every five years. It's also very expensive for the devices themselves, but Ubiquiti sells devices at a very affordable price and you don't need to buy any license or anything. That's why I went with Ubiquiti for my home network and I've been happy so far. My experience has been great, but I'm gonna tell you more in the next videos. And by the way, if you are a professional and want to become a network engineer, or if you are not in the field and you want to get in, the CCNA is one of the main certifications that you can take that can help you to start or boost your career. I have a CCNA course on kbtrends.com if you are interested. It goes from zero to engineer and will teach you all the concepts that you need to know to take and pass that exam. It might be for the career or just for your own knowledge. If you wanna be good at networking, the CCNA will teach you all of that. It's both in French and English and it's available there for you. If you like what I do, don't forget to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So right, let's go ahead and unbox and see what's inside. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it in my home network. This is the USW Enterprise 8 PoE. This is an Enterprise switch with two 10 gig ports and eight 2.5. This is something that I really needed because right now I have a 10 gig on the UDM SE that is unused. So I can connect the UDM SE directly to this switch and then use the 2.5 gig for all my devices, including the NAS and my desktop. I'm going to show you in a future video how I install it in my home network. But right now I'll show you the design itself and where it fits. The next device is the Unify 6 Pro. I'm going to replace one of my Unify 6 Lite with this one. I think it's gonna be in the living room or the main floor. It's more powerful and can support more users. So I'm going to make videos about this when I'm going to install it. Wow. The next appliance is the G4 Pro. This is the UVC G4 Pro. This is really big compared to the G4 Bullet that I have. This really looks like a pro level device. And right now with all my cameras, as I said at the beginning, they are all HD. This one will give me 4K, which is great. So I'm going to put them, I have actually two of them that were sent to me. So I'm going to put them right in front of the house so I can you know, zoom into the pictures or see the license plates or things like that. Because right now with the HD, it can be kind of difficult. In a video where I'm going to cover the install, I'll have the G4 bullet and I can show you the difference in size. So now let's take a look at the design. This is the design of my home network, including the new devices that I just unboxed in front of you. If you've been on this channel for a while, you are familiar with this design because in the video where I'm showing you the install of my home network, um, including 
the security appliance, the APs, the cameras and everything. I showed you this design and you can see how it evolves in time. So let me show you some details. We're going to start with the uplinks to the internet. Right now I have two internet connections. When one comes from Lumen, it's fiber with one gigabit per second, upload and download. When two is coming from Comcast, this is Doxis with 50 megabit per second just for, for backup. And I'm going to have some trunk links between the UDM SE and the two switches that I have. So the USW Enterprise 8 PoE and the USW 24 PoE will be connected directly to the UDM SE. And I have five VLAN in total. I'm going to talk about them later on. I'm also going to add one more access point to my design. I have the first floor access point, which is going to be the same, the U6 LR. The main floor is the new U6 Pro that I just unboxed. It's going to do a good job there. The basement will still keep the U6 light and the extra U6 light will be in my garage. And talking about the VLANs, I have five VLANs, as I said. We have the VLAN IO, which is like the um, IoT devices VLAN. It's the VLAN 15. It has every IoT that needs to go to the internet without any access to my home network, like smart bulbs, smart switches, and Nest devices. The VLAN 20 has the smart devices that need limited access to my home network and access to the internet, like the smart TVs, the fridge, and the video games. The VLAN 25 is my guest VLAN. It has access to the internet only. It doesn't have any access to the internal network. The VLAN 35 is my main VLAN, the most secure VLAN. It has my smartphones, my cameras. All the cameras are in this VLAN because I want them to run at high speed with all my computers in the same VLAN, including my phone. I also have my workstation, my Windows server and everything. The VLAN 75 is just for my lab, for you know studies and research and things like that. On this other page, I'm going to show you the connectivity between the UDM SE and the other devices. As you can see, the four access points are going to take up the four first ports on the UDM SE. The ports five and six are going to be connected to the new cameras, to the G4 Pro. I'm doing this because these are 4K cameras. I want them to run at high speed directly on the UDM SE as well, because as you know, I have my disk inside here, my eight terabyte. So I think it's gonna be beneficial for the heavy cameras to be directly connected to the UDM SE. The port 7 and the port 8 will go to the USW24 PoE. The port 7 will be just for the VLAN 35 because it's my main VLAN. I want it to have a full 1 gigabyte connectivity. The port 8 will be a trunk with the remaining VLANs going to the USW24 PoE. The port 11 would have an SFP Plus connectivity between the USW Enterprise 8 PoE and the UDM SE. And I'm going to have all the five VLANs flowing through here. I'm going to make more videos as I go with the install, so stay tuned. If you like what I do, like the video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my next video. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.